All right, guys, so as I had previously mentioned, we were running a little bit low on our milk from our does. Um, so Danelle, uh, my friend from Wiedemann Reap, she was very generous and saved us about 10 gallons of milk. So Derek and I went up and got that. Um, so this week, we are actually going to make all of our soaps with uh, Hazel, Fern, and Tatum's milk. So pretty cool. So today what we're gonna do is make a honey oat bar. So the honey oat bar is absolutely amazing. It is one of our best sellers. Um, so let's get going on that and have some fun. So I got my hard oils here, my shea butter and my coconut oil melted, and I'm just gonna pour it into my olive oil and castor oil here. Let's see. I really, really love the oil suppliers we use. They're just, the quality of their milk is, or I'm sorry, their oils is outstanding. Super, super high quality oils, like the coconut oil, for instance. This smells just like a coconut, chocolate covered coconut candy or something, like an Almond Joy. It's just beautiful. All right, so I'm just gonna mix that up a little. Now for my favorite part, adding in the milk. I just love that, it's like a lava lamp. Okay, now we just gotta stick blend that together. making the soap you can just see what a creamy bar it is all right now I'm gonna add in the oats and I just grind these up super super fine um, the first time I actually made this oatmeal soap I didn't take the extra time to grind it up as fine as I do now and it was, it was a little bit harsher than I wanted so this just gives it such a lovely mild exfoliant and a, you know a soap an exfoliant that you can actually use each and every day without it being bad for you. So I'm just stirring that in a little bit first so powder doesn't fly everywhere. All right, and this honey, you guys, is so amazing. It is raw organic honey. And it is just, it smells so, so good. Love it. Okay. So now, anytime I have the chance, I actually just add any, any additives that I can, I add in before I add the lye in, because I could mix this for hours without it having any, any effect. But as soon as you put the lye in, you're very limited on time, because it gets thick on you real quick. So I just want to make sure I do it this way, so all of the oats and all of the honey is evenly throughout the whole oil-milk mixture here. Here we go. Make soap.
You always see it turn this, it just turns like kind of a little bit orange color. And it's the honey and the lye, and it's just heating it up. Like you can already feel it's getting hot. So just a little bit longer, and I'll get it poured in the molds. <laughs> That is to a light trace and I want it to pour in all nice and pretty so I'm going to go ahead and get my molds. pretty is that you guys for that honeycomb effect I'm just gonna fold that over on top the bubble wrap lightly All right, on this side here, we're gonna do what's called the goat toe swipe. So here we go. Perfect. soap listings for this week you guys so this here is our blush bar uh, now this just has a little bit of rose clay in it and it has just a beautiful beautiful design this is called the feather swirl but this one actually was one of our first soaps that we have listed and it went really well people really loved it so we brought it back into play here and this one I, is just so pretty I love this one and then here we have what we call our marble bar. So if you love the charcoal bar, you're also gonna love this one. So it's white gold with um, just a little bit of charcoal in it instead of the whole bar being charcoal. So it has uh, still the charcoal benefits of it. So this is a really great one. This one I'm actually really excited about too because it's orange peel. So it has um, organic orange essential oil in it. So. It just smells lovely, you guys. I just absolutely love the citrus smell. So it's that and then also um, some dried, dehydrated orange peel in it. So it gives it just a really mild exfoliant. But the smell of this one is just amazing. If you love the cranberry orange, you're going to love this one. And this one, it's actually ironic because somebody said, we call this one Northern Lights, and somebody had mentioned just like a week ago, you should do something that looks like, you know, the Northern Lights. And I was like, that's funny because we did six weeks ago. So anyway, this is our Northern Light Bar. It's got uh, French green clay and purple Brazilian clay with some indigo in it, but it is lovely. I like this bar too. And this one, you guys. Okay, so this is what is called a Castile Bar and it is only goat milk soap and olive oil. So this bar is actually 
it's like lotion in the shower. That's, that's what it is. So it doesn't, uh, Castile bars don't give you big sudsy bubbles or anything. It's literally just the creamiest, most skin moisturizing soap that you can probably find. So really, really excited to share the Castile bar with you guys too. So, so we got five new listings and uh, really, really love them, you guys. So go ahead and go on over to the Etsy shop. The link is in the description below and get yourself some new soaps. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you soon. On other news, you guys, guess what? Okay, so I put a reservation down for this dough. I'll put those babies in the background. I had a reservation for this dough. Not to fall. And um, anyway, if she had two does, because the daughter of the breeder actually was gonna get first picks. So I was like, of course she won't have two does, but uh, she did, she had two does and a buck. So he let me know that uh, it was available. 